Hey, 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 everybody. This is Let Me See a Transcript, your very favorite history teacher. So I got up about maybe 30, maybe 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes ago. And uh, from our, you know, restroom break, you know, night. And so I'm still up and I'm like, I go. Just you know, I'm just in the uh, AC because I was a little hot, and um, notice I had put the temperature too up. But anyway, so I grab my phone. I was like, okay, who's on, right? So I see that uh, young Furl, a ten general, general a ten. But he's like, she has to subscribe to him. So let me catch up if you want to, uh, cause <laughs> hey, Mikey, um. So I'm over there and I'm like, he's still alive? Cause like he was live like I wanna say around like three or four o'clock yesterday. Then he went live again at seven. And then so he was still live. Who said you beat up women, Mikey? I've never seen or heard of you doing that before. Y'all need to stop the lies. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Erica. <laughs> I couldn't. I woke up to go to the restroom, my restroom break, and then I went. I, I couldn't go back to sleep, so I went to grab my phone to see who was up. It was just that female I was trying to deal with. Um, who is they, Mikey? If they don't have any proof, don't don't get into. It. You know, some people they hear stuff and they use that to go talk about you on here without any proof. They do it to me all the time. So, and they want to get you riled up and upset, so then they can use that as drama. You can be their soap opera, yeah. I'm sorry you had to go deal with deal with that. But uh so you know, I've been doing a lot of stuff on preachers and stuff like that, and I haven't been um, you know, re it reported on, you know, people in the black conscious community go alive in the afternoon, check out the vote on my community to say, okay, I will. Y'all uh like share subscribe to Mikey uh, XF23. He does videos, um, Going around New York, different foods he's eating, and um, he's very mellow. I don't think I've ever heard him raise his voice on there. So, so I'm just like, okay. Um, but uh, so I was like, you know, I need to start. I need to go do follow ups on Young Pharaoh and Umar and. Uh, Polite and uh, Jay Morrison and uh, what's the other one? Because they be doing stuff too, but there's not lately. It's not as big, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know right now Michi X and others are giving uh, Tariq Nasheed the business. So, um, but anyway, so I've so. Yeah, fair been going live like Yeah. But it's not even an all loss because you didn't do that. Yeah, you, you didn't you didn't do that. I don't think you did that. And so I he been he been live like three, four times. I always notice that he's live like that. And I don't know, sometimes I be wondering about him, like, okay, are you in a manic phase? Or are you allegedly doing cocaine? Because I don't, I don't know. Um, Because he don't need, because I think he, one time he said someone gave him some mushroom and they drugged him. But he definitely don't need that anymore. Um, but he be on there smoking something, I don't know. But, uh, or, uh, I don't know, he be tapping that. Tap. I'm like, dude, are you making lines? 
Are you trying to smush up the wheat? I don't know. It's allegedly fair use, fair use. I don't, I mean, because I don't have no proof of this, too. It's just like, I'm just using my context clues. I could be wrong, you know? But it's just his behavior. Be thinking, make me think, like, otherwise. But anyway, uh, I I did go peep in a few times. Shout out to Ramil Bot. Uh, y'all need to go R-E-M-I-E-L-M-A-A-T. Two words, Ramil Bot. Get a really good... Um, um, commentary today about uh, Young Pharaoh. So I'm going to look at Young Pharaoh's video. The one he has with this lady named Violet. Her name is in the title of his videos. Her name is there. At first, I didn't know who her name was. And I kept looking at her and I was like, is that the woman that um, the other girl said that he chose over her. I need to go find that video. So basically, a couple of months ago, Young Fair flew out this black girl. She's cute. Um, to Houston, you know, he picked her from the airport. She came there, and then all of a sudden, he switched up on her when this girl right here. When I drive down Sky Street after picking up my chicken on the way to your house, let me in. <laughs> Where you going to French's? <laughs> you going to French's? <laughs> Wait, are they even open? Okay, so so um, okay, where am I going? All right. So, um, I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Small. <laughs> All right, hold on. So, we hear him very clear, Mike. Okay. So he was like talking to uh okay, so first he put up a video yesterday, day before yesterday, talking about oh Diddy is uh dating young Miami. And we were like, and so someone was in the chat was like, that's old news. Like we know that from months ago. But he's in there talking with Violet about it. Then he started bringing up uh Diddy's, you know, alleged sexuality. Big gay. Then he comes on later on today, talking about he gonna uh talk about the psychology of gay crimes. But I think he must have changed the title to the psychology of something. All right. And then that was like at set so like Diddy was like at four. Then the psychology of gay crime, which he changed the title to that, was at seven. And then just now, uh, 30 minutes ago, well, I guess 15 minutes ago, he just logged out. He was talking to uh, Violet right here about what was he talking to her about? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm, see, I'm asleep. I'm here. I'm, I don't know. But I kept looking at her. I said, and I noticed she had changed her outfit. Like, like yesterday, she had a little bikini top on. Then, uh, when they were talking about, I think, when they, you know, and then she had another outfit on when they were talking about Diddy. And then she had something else on in his last video. Then I see she in this right here. And I said, it's so, <laughs> Ramil started laughing at me when I was in his chat. Yeah, didn't go check him out. He's real cool people. And I said, Someone in the chat called her Eddie Guerrero. And I was like, Eddie Guerrero? I think Eddie Guerrero is a, a wrestler. I said, oh, it's Eddie Guerrero. So I didn't get it, but I kept looking at her. I said, she looks like Michael Jackson circa 1988-87 in the way you make the field video. And so... <laughs> hey, Osa Yemi too. Y'all just got Osa Yemi too. She's a, a good content creator as well. So I 
was trying, but I kept noticing like this video, no, the video, the previous video. She's, I guess, she's like the new it girl, right? But I noticed in the last two videos, especially this last one, she's like, a, I'm like, is she just a yes woman? Even people were saying it and they were like, is she just going to say yes woman? She's going to say yes, everything's in. So she's like, oh, do you, do you, he kept asking her questions. Like, and I think I'm like, why is he asking all these questions? And all her questions was, yes, you know, you can do that. Oh, yeah, you can do that. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, you know, you need a positive person around you to affirm. And like, if you have a dream and, and they're being a positive influence and they're like saying, yeah, you can do this. But for her, I felt like he was asking her stuff that you really didn't need to ask her online. You doing that to throw that either shade your baby mamas or some other women or whatever. Because it was just like, and I'm thinking like, girl, can you be serious? Do you not know this man got like five charges with criminal mischief, threat of a family member, assault of a family member? He shot up his baby mama house with his kids inside. And you over here yes at him for all this. And then he talked about how, do you think I could be a leader of the com black community? Yes, of course you can. No, he cannot. The little I saw, I'm okay. If she is the woman from coming to America, <laughs> then he started talking about, oh, he he likes uh, the Blasian culture, the Asian culture, and I'm just like, you know, and he started talking about down about black folks, and and uh, I still think this is the woman that the other black girl was talking about that he that he started um, trying to impress, and then. I'm going to go find that video, y'all. I'm going to go find that video. Maybe I'll go live later. I don't know. Um, I need to be resting up before I go back to work on Monday. She should have worked like a dog. G girl, I thought she might. She could have. If you said bark like a dog, he probably would have. Because, you know, he even asked her, like, what advice would you give the young women nowadays? I don't know if she's even Latina because the other black girl said that she was half black and half white or she may have been just light skin because, you know, she looked like one of my cousins from Louisiana, right? But anyway, you know, he's always whatever. Okay, so but I kept looking at her. I was like, okay, before she was looking like Michael Jackson from the way you make me feel video. Now she's looking like Michael Jackson from Dirty Diana video. She got the black shirt on and the white shirt on top. I said, Lord forgive me, but this is. <laughs> but every time he asked her, she was smoking like a blunt or a squishy sweet phone and drinking out the cup. So I'm, and then he even mentioned that he had, had an edible. I said, oh, okay, that's why you're looking all mellow falling down your chair. She probably had the edible too. And I just like, we did not need to see y'all in this edible love, whatever comic. You know how sometimes you eat, I guess I heard it has been reported to me. When you eat those things, you start thinking about stuff out loud. And you think it's deep, but it's not really deep. And so I'm just thinking like, he's asking her those questions. And then <laughs> there's people in the chat. One guy had a real valid question. He was like, man. Uh, I followed you. You were very deep, but um, I'm I don't know what's going on you with you right now. He put the man coming up there talking about um, this comments like this. This made me think you a hater. Then he gonna turn to her and say, "What do you think about this comment?" And she agreed with him. It was like every time he had a question, she said she agreed with him. Yes, and I was just like, "Ma'am, do you not?" What are you going to do when you disagree with him? What are you going to do when you disagree with him? What is he going to do when you disagree with him? And then someone made a comment in the chat. was like, oh, can she not think, you know, is she a yes man? She cannot think for herself. 
you know, and I'm just thinking like, someone even asked, is she a yes man? Is she a yes man? And I was just like, sounds like it to me. <laughs> then I think someone was asking the question. Shout out to Keisha. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> she get her, her wig rub from the bitter supply store. I'm pissing that. And I said, the said, yeah, they got a beer supply store in the business of that. He said, oh, well, let us say a link to Tori. I was <laughs> Damn, sorry. Damn. I guess oh, uh, he got mad. <laughs> and put Keisha Keisha, Keisha, Keisha comment on the screen. He said, I've been trying to ignore you all night. Why you keep putting it up here? I say, Keisha, you famous now. <laughs> he said, Keisha's like, I just love to see her do a tutorial. <laughs> and my silly self gonna ask Keisha, Keisha, and they got the MJ County with for AA and computer. <laughs> Cincinnati is like the time to go with people. <laughs> so, and then he gonna go and talk about y'all all should know. I know she not wearing no wig. <laughs> talk about you know I deal with all natural women. I'm thinking like natural. <laughs> so y'all know I only deal with natural women because you know I want to deal with you know. Something about, and he always goes back to something about gay people or something is gay, even though he said he's not. I'm just like, why are you always bringing in gay something gay into the conversation? They not thinking about you. So you know, uh, basically, he was implying that he only deals with natural women because he doesn't want to, I guess, end up with a man who's wearing like a wig or a weave. I guess being tricked or somehow in some way. And I'm just like, why does he keep doing that? Even when he was talking about Diddy, he was bringing up gay stuff. Then like he was going to make a video about the psychology of gay crimes. But then he like changed the title. So I was like, why do you keep bringing this up? It's like, yeah, and I'm wondering about that too. Like, is this projection? Did you have a, did you have a bad Incident, and I feel the same way with the church, no church community, the same thing in the church community and um, the black cons community. The men, it's like y'all are very conservative when it comes to LGBTQ people, but at the same time, your actions say otherwise. Like, you know, there are men. In both areas, for like, oh, you know, be you know, for, for church people, it's like being gay is against the Bible. For the black conscious community, it's like being gay is uh anti black. Oh, that's for when we get to the white people. But you got people in both communities who are men who are acting uh suspect, you know, it's just like. Okay, sorry, you, 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 why do you keep bringing it up? We didn't ask you about this. We did not ask you about this. You know, and then he says something about Freemason and, oh, you think I could be a leader of the black community? She said, oh, yeah, you can. Um, ma'am, stop. Stop. Dirty Diana. No. Dirty Diana. No. Let me be. <laughs> Stop. Uh, oh, Sonia, me. I'm. Uh, 
You said it. Like, why you keep talking about it? And usually, I'm going to say this out loud. Men, and also women, a lot of times, those of you who keep saying, being anti-gay or anti as you are, and you are always bringing up in conversation, those be the ones that on the down low, they are. You're like, wait a minute, how come you always bringing them up? They're not bringing you up. Tell you, LGBTQ people that I know, that I read about, that I watch, they not having conversations and bringing up straight people like, you know what? Them straights is really getting on my nerve. They not having conversations like that. Oh, you know, hey, that person, you know, that person's really straight. They not, they not do, yeah, you spelled it right. They not, they not doing that. They trying to live their life, minding their business. And why does it seem like, okay. Why is it, I'm on the internet sometimes, and I'm seeing a whole bunch of straight men having whole conversations about what gay men are doing, or gay sex are doing. Oh, that person's a booty bandit. Why the hell are y'all having a whole fucking conversation about that? I'm just going to say this right now. That's suspect to us who are listening to you. Because we're just like, did y'all have a whole conversation about whether or not somebody gay? Then y'all using words like booty bandy or bussy. Tariq and she be doing that too. I'm like, why the fuck he keeps saying bussy for him? I'm like, I don't hear other LGBTQ men say that. What's, I don't hear other straight men Talking about, oh yeah, he like the bussy. No, I don't. Uh uh-uh. uh. It was okay. Yeah, it's it's a good. Y'all need to go uh, like like share subscribe to Osanya. It was really good. I'm just trying to figure out. <sighs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just like, why is Violet? And that's her name, I'm not uh, Doc's nobody, because he has her name in the title. It says Young Feral and Violet. Hey, Didi. Y'all going over there, it's like every, go, just look at the last 30 minutes. First of you'll see Keisha. <laughs> Keisha, Jim. Shout out to Keisha. And shout out to Chuck. Is his name Chuck? Chuck? Chuck, check, crack, or something. He had a good question. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. And he just looking at her, asking her, like, do you think I, do you think, uh, you know, I was, I was, I was, uh, they thought, you know, I was asked to be a Freemason. Okay, number one, I've heard of Freemasons or Masons. Eastern stars, uh, people in fraternities and stuff. Like, like, I always notice this. Have you always noticed this? The people who never got, who, who, who are not in those organizations, got a lot of negativity to say about those organizations. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, I got, in, you know, that's, you know, it's always like they treated them like they're the Illuminati or the Boule or they're doing some, you know, they're the elites that, you know, are dictating certain types of things. And I'm just thinking like, no, it's just y'all who think that are the ones who didn't get in or didn't get asked. Or didn't rush or pledge or whatever you call it. Or no one tapped on the show and said, hey, do you want to join this? Join my lodge. <sighs> yeah, what they heard or read. But it's just like, why y'all have... They are. I'm gonna. I'm always been. I had. I've had students like, dude. What? I had one student like. It was like every day he was talking about 
something bad about gay people. And I was like, why are you keep bring- you're the only one bringing it up? No one is talking about it. Like, I don't even think it was a gay person in his class. None that I was, you know, was out. And I just kept, you know, in hindsight, I'm just like, I didn't even talk to his mom. And I'm just like, ma'am, he, well, it was a number of things I was calling her about his behavior. But I was just like, ma'am, why does he keeps bringing this up? And I'm just like, it, and this is another thing I, I don't like. <sighs> Something that's different. Oh, that's gay. Oh, st- stop acting gay. There's no gay handbook. Gay books say, hey, these are things that are gay. And using gay as an insult, not as a fact or to describe a person who is out and who is gay. That's not right. That's why I don't like some people say, oh, that's ghetto. I'm like, how do you, what's ghetto? Well, we kind of do know it's kind of ghetto, but still, it's like, there's different levels to ghetto. <laughs> it's like, come on now. It's also another thing I don't like is a whole bunch of, uh, especially in the black community, someone said, oh, that person's acting like a coon. But then when I look at the person who's saying it, it's like, but sir, you're kind of acting kind of coonish yourself. So I'm just like, okay. Mm Mm-mm. So and and oh speaking of okay um I'm really tired of the anti-blackness from Young Pharaoh. You upset with black people because they're not hey living life to the fullest. Um. Because they want, and this is what I put in his, uh, someone at asked in his chat was like, um, why did he have her around or something like that? Um, so, oh, you only want yes people around you. I said, yeah, he only wants yes people around him because he is not going to have any accountability. No one's going to question him about it. Okay, um, that's why he kept asking because he needs affirmation. He kept asking her these questions like, Oh, can I do this? Can I do that? What do you think? What do you think? And everything was yes, yes, yes. Okay, so living life to the fullest. This lady, her name is Violet. If you go to Young Pharaoh's like last three videos, he has her in the video and it says on his video, Young Pharaoh and Violet, and they're talking about different topics, but. And Eric, but the last one, the last thirty minutes, uh, thirty minutes ago, he went off. He went off uh, his last lock. They've been live like several different times the last twenty four hours. It's like everything she says is yes. Oh, can I be a leader of the black community? Oh, of course you can. And I'm just thinking, like, ma'am, do you not? How long you know him? Because we've been looking at him the last six months and ma'am, he's, he shut up his woman's house for kids inside. Yes, it has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. Yeah, her name is Violet. And you know how like every couple of months he has a new girl I guess he's trying to play his golden beauty or whatever. And ever since then, he's he has some new girl he's with, and she's like in the video. So this is the latest one. The one before this one was Martina. But you know, we all, at least I thought other people did. Like when I saw Martina, I was like, okay, she's his new girlfriend now. But the way I was listening, 
the stuff he said about her, and then when I found out later on, I knew like I saw a hustler all over that girl. I was like, oh, this girl, she she hit a lick, but he couldn't see it because he was trying to make go to beauty jealous of whatever woman chose the time, and it was like, dude, you. Then when it was over, he had bad, he didn't have bad things to say about it. Then he did have bad things to say about her. So, yeah. And all the people that he drove away with his behavior, none of them are there. And then, Didi, you never seen none of my young Pharaoh videos before? But this is the girl, the new girl, Violet, right? And I think also I've done a, a video about Young Pharaoh called uh, in my African American Greed video, which I need I need to start back up on my series. Oh, you have it, oh, girl. Let me let me let me let me hold on, y'all, hold on a minute. I feel the same way about Young Feral like I feel about Umar Johnson like if y'all just wanted to be entertainers y'all got it down they are highly entertaining but it's just like y'all y'all falling on the deep end And it's like they don't want and to me I feel like they act like stereotypical narcissists. You want everyone to agree with you, you don't want to have the whole accountability, you don't like anyone questioning you. Um you strike out at people, it's everyone else's problem, not yours. So that's why sometimes I feel like I'm like, is he in the middle of a manic episode? Is it is it the drugs? Is it narcissistic narcissistic personality disorder? Like what is it? So that is his link to his channel. Uh, I follow him. I'm subscribed, like channel, subscribe. Um, go over there and just, just watch the last 15, 20 minutes like I did. Because I was just like, is she keep saying yes, yes, yes to everything? Does she not know that he shot into a house with his... And I kept thinking like, oh, I see what he's doing. He's shading the baby mamas. Because right now, they are, like, living their best life. They are minding their damn business. The, matter of fact, I want to say Golden Beauty. They both have, I'm, I'm subscribed to both of them, Golden Beauty and Camille Speaks. And when they come on, they're not talking about him. They're not. And matter of fact, I want to say Golden Beauty got more followers than him. Because he, he keeps having the same problem. He he has he, he see he gonna end up like Thomas Sutherland or he's had four or five different channels, you know, because you know he tried to sue YouTube and said they were demonetizing him and taking his money and he sued them and the court got dismissed by the court and then the then YouTube came back <laughs> and said, hey, we want you to pay our attorney fees. So he owed, he owed Google about $38,000. He ain't got $38,000. But he keep wanting to tell everybody, hey, I done made a billion dollars in a year. Yeah, back from 2018, you tricked off that money? Like Umar allegedly tricked off that uh building, the, the school building fund money? Like, come on. Like, man. Okay. 
yeah, that's what the, that's that's what Google said. You you wasted our time coming here and uh uh pay for pay for our lawyer. Uh, make a change did a uh really good video, but he broke down that um uh young Pharaoh owes about thirty eight thousand dollars to the Google for that lawyer fees. And then plus, because of his content, it's against the community guidelines, he got, um, he had one uh, channel, I think it was over 100 subscribers, over 200, I think, subscribers. That one got deleted. Then he started another channel, and he was on that same stuff, because, you know, he was trying to be all mad. He was, she went from getting the uh the black consciousness dollars he went to want to get the uh white conservative MAGA dollars but he's almost he he said something anti-semitic and anti-lgbtq and even though MAGA people are generally um uh, very conservative and anti-lgbtq um they do have co conservative gays he got disinvited from the CPAC committee and because that was gonna be his come up right there oh he messed that bag up and they disinvited him and he been on one ever since so he keeps talking about oh i don't want to hang with the black people i hang out in the suburbs around the white people because he lives here in houston well i guess he lives in katie he lives in katie Okay, he's a suburb of Houston. There's black people out there too, but it's not what's over here. And he can't say, like, oh, that's why I don't want to live around y'all. We don't want you to live around us. <laughs> My God. Oh. And you need to be careful out there with, with your white neighbors. He did, but I think he tricked out. Yeah, he, he fumbled the bag and he tricked out the money. Cause he went and got that. He that he moved from Buffalo down here to Houston or the Houston area. He got that house. You know he has a Lamborghini. Like, dude, why do you got a Lamborghini? He was flying at that one girl. Then somehow he was still getting bail. He was paying for um the rent on Golden Beauty, other uh the other place she was renting out. When he shot up, he had a whole bunch of people in his house at one time. I was like, is he trying to be nature boy? Is he running a cult? Then it was like one by one, he just started uh, falling out with a whole bunch of people. Then at the end, it was just, yeah, he's from Buffalo, New York. And he moved down to Texas, conservative, very conservative. But I think him and uh, Golden Buddha was trying to figure out where they were going to move to. And then, um, so they moved here. And it was just like, and you know, he's trying to be, he, he trying to convince Camille to move down here. And uh, she was thinking about moving down here because, like, she has a son. And then Golden Beauty had, you know, his two daughters. So I guess they were going to try to be, you know, I mean, Camille didn't want to be back with him, but they were going to try to like, hey, we're going to be a family. And I guess they were going to do some type of reality show. I don't know. And um, he put his paw, he put his hands on her, on Camille. And then he was still trying to um, get Golden Beauty to do um, polygamy and I guess it was a situation with the woman he was choosing and then his behavior what he was saying and doing you know I think also because like he had some money and then he was loading over people he probably was taking some mushrooms or whatever I don't know she thinks he needs to be go to rehab I think he needs a mental institution or he might need both but uh, she ended up leaving. I was thinking, Buffalo, this is why you don't drink and why you don't drink and participate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was Buffalo, New York. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, since he's been here, he like, he's always talking about, oh, he wants to meet the governor. He wants to date the governor's niece or daughter or something. And I'm just like, dude, you sound like, that's what I keep saying. I don't know if he's, if he's acting, if this is not personality disorder, or if it's a mental illness, because both of his parents had a history of schizophrenia. And some of his stories he had, it keeps changing. And it's just like, okay, you were drugged. Okay, you were not drugged. Oh, no, I was drugged. Oh, no, I wasn't drugged. Then he got interviewed by Tasha K. He told her the alien story. He had to say the alien story on his own channel. He's gotten his Instagram taken a couple of times. And, um, He's had it, you know, back and forth with Golden Beauty on IG or on YouTube. She finally stopped, I think, this past summer. And she started doing different types of videos, uh, doing stuff with her family, her friends. And it's been more positive things. But with, but he still does the throwing of the shade finding women or doing something with women or he'll go back in the past and be like oh I was drugged oh this is he'll start doing some trending topics it has no oh yeah DD he uh Tasha K I think after her uh Cardi B losing the Cardi B I started noticing she was doing a lot of more black consciousness community type uh interviews and uh, young Pharaoh was one um, or she started doing topics about them. She did. She's the one that broke the polite, uh, you know, going to jail. Okay, because she's she's from Florida, and uh, polite. That's where he is, or where the charge is. He got. Then um, she interviewed um, a former a former supporter of Umar Johnson. You know, she interviewed Michi X. Uh, so she's, you know, she interviewed, you know, the church people, uh, uh, Bishop Whitehead, you know, so, yeah. But yeah, but I was just looking at this girl, I was like, she's yes man and again. Oh, like, is she, and I kept seeing her smoke and I was like, what's in her he interviewed Shaka Ambrose too. Okay, I must have missed that interview. Oh yeah, she just interviewed Nature Boy too. I haven't heard, and I and I'm actually subscribed to her, uh, her, you know, her uh, other thing. I need to sit. I'm just trying to figure out. I got to be in the mood to be listening to her and Nature Boy. You know, and, and this is the thing. She's interviewed Carbonation. Back in was it April when he got arrested? And that was when all of them was still there, you know. But uh I listened to um his lordship. Um and he had a snippet of nature board talking from jail that the wives or his Orishas had. No girl, he is not out of prison, he is still in there. He taking downloads and, and interviews from uh uh I guess the phone they got set up in there. Girl, one girl, he's still in jail. He needs to stay in there. His try, I forget what, what day his next hearing is. <laughs> yeah, and see, like people been falling off one by one with him. I need to do an update on him. Yeah, oh son, yeah, me too. Um, yeah, her her other her, her other uh website is like twelve dollars a month. Yeah, she interviewed. Yeah, but I know that she started doing that around the time of the Cardi B. So I think she was trying to get. Which I don't. I mean, I got in hindsight, it was actually a good move on her. She needed some more material besides just the regular trending stuff. 
Yeah, and then he got then it, I don't know if you saw the video I did, Yo Zunimi. I think I did a video where basically he got the men in there to like get in formation and shit. Like they like the carbonation would do when he was out here in the world. I said, Oh my goodness. I said he had the had put had the original the wives put money on somebody commentary for him to do all that. Cause it or say, hey, you get to look at my wives. Y'all y'all getting formation and stuff. I was just like, somebody send this to the DA, because this is not gonna look good for him. You and there still leading people to do stuff. Zoka gave her dollar. Zoka is okay, is Zoka still with the wives or did she leave o o Yemi too? Cause it's like it was five of the wives. Now we we you know and then what's the name? She was like it was four. And then now is it three now? That's what I think too. Like he out here, and then one of the dudes came up and fanned him, and another gave him a towel because he was hot. I was like, what in the world? I was like, did he threaten y'all or something? Yes, we Keo. The wives come on um Instagram or Bigo. And then uh True comes on Bigo a lot of times too. The others have left. They were coming on occasionally, but some of them have like well, I, I feel like uh, Caliber and Sheba and her son, Ja, and uh, Natiri and what's the other one that Terry was with? They seem to be trying to like get their life together somewhat, even though I do think they still support well, I don't think the Terry and, and um, Solar, they trying to do their own thing. But they still a little off, but they not. I think the others are still like, I think as more, they spend more and more time away from him, you'll see them becoming a little bit more independent. Especially I see that with Caliber. Uh, Sheba, her son, I think her son really likes being with, you know, grandma, grandpa, on an uncle. Because every time Sheba go live, he go, uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, she's still with the wives? Zoka's still with the wives? So it's just three of them now? Zoka, Malia, Aya, and Nafiri? Natiri? Not Natiri. Naf I don't even know all that. Is it four of them or three of them? I don't know where Lowell is. Okay, good night. I was not going to be on here much longer, but uh, yeah. And can you not use my real name? Because I got stalkers. <laughs> Let me see your transcript. <laughs> I understand you sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Solo is trying to be the trying to be better than Nature Boy. Oh, it's three now. Oh, so the one, so the one that uh, her mama showed up. Is she? Did she leave? Maybe it was one that, that her mama or something had showed up. Did she eventually leave? That's so they was follow them. Okay. I think I'm subscribed to SL Day. I need to go back over there. Good morning from Memphis. My dog will be barking at the acorn falling out the tree. Oh, sorry, Yvette Strozer. My dog likes to bark at 
whatever sound comes about, someone makes a sound coming by the apartment. Like, you're a good wake up system, but um, Fufu, who is Fufu? Fufu somewhere else. Thanks, Holmes, Erica. I know it's just, it's like, it's just the crazy people out here. <sighs> yeah, I tap into world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been I've been kind of out of you know dealing with all the uh, the church people. They've been doing stuff every for every damn week. I said, let me go. T that's why I saw when I saw um um what's his name was on. Hold on, yeah. Wait, hold on. Okay, can y'all hear me? Hey, Majestic Farrell. Holmes, Erica, he didn't get one today because <sighs> he was not being cooperative at the vet today. So we're going to try this again on his next visit. He was not. He was not. He was not cooperative. You know what? Who you know what? Probably one of them. Oh, Son Yemi is one of them. Mm hmm And Majestic Pharaoh. Oh, if Furu is somewhere else. Yeah, I'm thinking she's the one that isn't she the one that her mama or somebody came up there and gave her some money? I checked on her. Oh, Majestic, yeah. Um, you need to help me. You need to help me figure out how to uh boy to be better at the vet. He was uncooperative today. Uncooperative. So we're going back in a couple of weeks because it'll be time for his um uh, his shots and um and we're gonna try to get these nails trimmed because he over here looking like a little wolverine. <laughs> How's Erica? You need to stop. Boy is Boy is basically spoiled, and, and it's my fault. But what he did at the at the groomers, the the vet slash groomers today, it was just, it was too much. So no, he did not get his pup cup today. I'm sorry, not today. Okay, so this this person right here on the left hand side. Majest no, I'm sorry, not Majestic Pharaoh. You are Majestic Pharaoh, but young Pharaoh <laughs> has a new lady. His like her name is Violet. If you go to um, I'll put it in the chat again. This is 
They've been live three or four times the last 24 hours. This is their last live they had about almost an hour ago. Okay. And so uh, the last three videos, he has Young Pharaoh and Violet. And they're like doing different topics, right? So, but I noticed when I was uh, in Ramil's chat, <laughs> it's my fault, DD. <laughs> it's my fault. Cause look, even even when, yeah, it's, oh yeah, even when a uh, boy didn't get his pup cup today, I'm in bed, right? And he gets in the bed right next to me, laying down, and I'm just like, yeah, you spoiled. <laughs> hey, Lindsay, girl, event, yes, like <laughs> it's too much. Okay, so, um, so she had a okay. So like the last twenty four hours, they done did like three or four videos. One was over an old topic, like tomorrow. Oh, P Diddy is dating a uh, young Miami. Like that, we knew that over the summer. Like that is so much old news. These start getting into into Diddy's sexuality. I'm like, nobody asked you. Then he had another video that he did. Uh, talking about old um, the psychology of black games, but he, he changed the topic. The psychology, I think, of black women and families or something, you know. He always tries to find a way to uh, shade his baby mamas. And then uh, this last one from an hour ago, he says uh, uh, she, she wore a different outfit. Well, the outfit she had on earlier, it was, uh, I think one she had a bikini on, another one she had a different top on, and then she had this one, right? Oh, yeah, he mentioned uh, uh, Latino women and Asian women on this last live, too, but he's very much into the Asian community now. And then, <laughs> he's talking about he learned himself Japanese and Chinese, and I'm thinking, like, Okay, I know for a fact because I paid attention to world history class and also had classmates who were, you know, of you know Chinese descent. They speak two languages in China, Cantonese or Mandarin. Which one is he learning? He probably don't even know. He probably don't even know, right? So I noticed in this. I noticed like when I was in Ramil's chat because he was uh, doing commentary about. Uh, uh, young fair, I'm, I'm gonna drop uh, Ramil's link in the chat, so y'all need to go check him out. Um, I kept looking at her, and I said, Why does she look like Michael Jackson from the way you make me feel? Video, I put it in the chat, Ramil started laughing. He said, He said, I was silly, but the other people were like, Yeah, she kind of does look like that. <laughs> then I get to, I get up to do a pee break about, a, about an hour ago, but I couldn't go back to sleep. <laughs> And I look at her, she got that white shirt on. I said, wait a minute. That look like the Diana J. Daddy Diana video. And I went and found this. And I put them side by side. <laughs> I did. I said, I'm not right. <laughs> I'm going to have to put this in my uh, for members only. <laughs> oh. Did they die? And then no. <laughs> but that is why I said, is she, is Violet, is she a yes woman or is she an MJ person? Is there somebody? <laughs> Shout out to Christian in the chat. <laughs> Event. <laughs> I'm sorry, she looked better than that. It was about Johnson Black Party. <laughs> Miguel Jackson. <laughs> but ironically, Miguel Jackson in a black party. He was doing, he had the best performance. Him and the kids. He was the best thing about that black boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Diane walked out to me. 
You play the one at the night. <laughs> so I'm not coming back. Just the table with me, Daddy Diana. <laughs> no. He was the best of the best, right? Right. Right. <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. But you notice now that they're gone. He not trying to like do be poly all the time. Like what? Okay, you you don't have them anymore. So why don't? Oh Lord, let me not get that married to uh, to to uh, give him ideas. Because next time we'll see him, he'll have two. He'll have Rose and Violet there. <laughs> You'll have two of them there. Yeah, he tried to be, yeah, right. You see, Umar is talking about he got two wives. I always thought these men always want a couple of wives. But it's like, dude, are you are you doing what you need to do to support two wives? And I do think in the Quran, if we're going by, you know, the Quran, uh, you're supposed to be able to treat your wives equally. So, right. Y'all all trying to be uh, like Nature Boy. Nature Boy got wives. Even though one of his wives is technically married to somebody else. What's the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I know um, Zoka and Solo are married, right? Like married on pa like paper. Yeah, it's just. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know, girl, because last year he had two wives. It was supposed to be part of the fashion show. And then this again, I still don't I still didn't see nobody else. Okay, let me get this right. A fashion show means a whole bunch of people, men or women, walking down an aisle. You see their fashion and they go back up, right? How come in these little ceremonies that he keeps saying they're a part of the fashion show? I don't see nobody else sporting no fashions. I'm looking at a play. <laughs> and this year you got two. And then the last year they uh, complained like, oh, if you say you paid African, how come you're not dressed like paid African? So guess what? This year everybody is dressed like paid African. I said, oh, so you you watching this. You watching what we say. So, but anyway, yeah, this is uh, Violet. She's his new girl. I think I need to go find another video. This is the one that he chose over the girl that he flew out. And I'm suspecting he chose her because she says yes and agrees with him more. You know, so yeah, because I because he, you remember, he did that story to my oh, uh, I called the police because this crazy lady uh broke into my house and she won't leave. And uh, and I'm thinking, like, dude, you said you moved to the suburbs, uh, right. Who is coming over to your house in the suburbs and bringing to your house? And staying. I said, nah, you invited them over. And something happened and they don't want to leave. Hey, Ramil, you up? I couldn't sleep. Well, I woke up to go to the restroom. And then I woke up. <laughs> and I couldn't go back to sleep. <laughs> And then that's when I saw. I, I think I followed. I need to go find a girl's video. 
she explained. She's like, I didn't break in his house. He flew me out. He flew me out there. Yeah, you want to? So I, he flew me out there. Even even the white ones too. Because the ones being the Mormon cults, they, I don't know. I be feeling bad for those women. I was like, they got y'all wearing them dresses and stuff. The long hair, man, you out to them old men. And I saw one, y'all ever seen seen the episode where they was like, they talk about escaping polygamy? It looks something like straight out of a goddamn slavery movie. They got the fucking underground railroad type stuff. They got people like trying to help other folks escape and 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 I'm like, this looked like the goddamn slavery movie. Oh, too close to pimping in mindset. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, hold on a moment. All right, y'all check out uh, Ramil Ma. He did a really great uh, video uh, around four or five today or my time. And then uh, he did another one with uh, with Trip C. Uh, Let me see. So I was like, she lied. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I mean, this is what happens because, you know, I have, um, well, it's longer. I got blood problems. I got blood issues. It's gotten better, but, you know, I, if I drink, you know, I'm supposed to be drinking this water instead of, you know, the sodas and stuff, but, you know, and then I got to go to the restaurant. So, yeah, Lennon did a, a video. No, no, not Lennon. KKC. And I and I was confused because I kept thinking it was an old video of him in London. They're like, no, this is him in London. I was like, oh, he must have took the shot there. Because how did he get over there? Because don't 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 the UK say you gotta get a shot to go over there. Yeah, I think someone even sent the organizers saying, Hey, I'm concerned you're having Umar over here. You you're concerned, but they told us to still have him anyway. Yes, girl, he was in London. Go to KKC. Uh go to KKC's uh live. Uh I would say fast forward about an hour because it's like music and stuff the first hour. And he will show you him in London. And girl, he was saying some stuff. And I was like, he was like, Y'all need to do. Don't make the same mistakes as what they did over there in the U.S. This is what y'all need to do. And I was like, when I when he said that, I was like, where's Osan Yimby to at? Where's um Cat at? Where are the people who live over there at? Do they know about this? Do they know that his ass was over there t saying this stuff? You're welcome. Hey, Kelly Shaw. Oh, you don't have to take a jab to go to a uh, UK? You just got to wear a mask? You got to take a test before you go?
Yeah, it's uh But but Rem Remel, am I wrong though? No. Does she not look like she Michael Jackson from 1988, 87? The first I said from the way you make me feel video, but in this last one though, from an hour ago, she is she really is a yes person. She was like, Yes, yes. Oh yeah, if you yeah, you could be a leader in the community. And I was like, What? Oh, you don't have to get a test to go to the UK. Do you gotta? But do you gotta get? Do you gotta be negative, right? You gotta get a test, right? Yeah, but then it's like, but you gotta go. You gotta go to his last video. When I saw a video of him, when I started that he was in a crowd of people. Yeah, he's he was wearing um what was he wearing? I guess cause whoever was doing the video, that's why I thought it was an older video, but it was like a new one. I was like, I kept thinking about what what's going on with the school though? What happened to the HVAC? But reveal every time I when I saw this last time, this is what she was wearing in the last video that he did about an hour ago. All I can think about was Michael Jackson Dirty Diana video. And so with that Keisha, shout out to Keisha. <laughs> he said, Did you get your wig? Did you get your wig from the from from the place of business? <laughs> Hey, your fair got mad to me. I've been trying to avoid you. You keep putting this in the chat. We trying to avoid you all night. I only deal with natural women. <laughs> and shout out to uh, was it Chuck T. Chirac, something like that. He made he made a good point. He said Marcus Garvey was a mate. Was he really a Mason, or is that the story? Yeah, they they videoed someone in the crowd videoed it because KKC was showing it. Yeah. Yeah, Biden said the pandemic is over. He said it was COVID nineteen is not over. It was a scam. It was it got health issues now. See, it's I guess it's different from over here, but because over here they're saying the people who who've had COVID got the health issues. Oh, uh, Yvette Trotter, girl, be careful because he. Oh wow! But you, but you social distance and wear a mask, right? That's why I was. That's why I was sending you. That's why when I got up, I said, "Let me send this for me," <laughs> cause he back on. I was like, "He back on." He done done two, three. No, LLC. We can see it's on there. Oh, what's on? Oh, you don't need to vaccinate to go to um majestic pharaoh. You know how you get COVID sexually? You ain't wearing no mask. <laughs> you ain't wearing no protection. <laughs> what if both of you got COVID? Living life to the fullest. You mean to tell me you out here not social distancing or wearing a mask and you never had COVID? Girl, you are a walking miracle. 
I don't think it was a scam uh living life to the fullest. So let's not get into um let's not say that here because you know uh 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 YouTube, yeah, they be yeah, let's not say that. Yeah, because YouTube is yeah, on that censorship stuff about that. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he, you gotta see it though. He was laying in a chair. He was sliding down in the chair. I kept saying, "Why he sliding down in a chair like that?" I said, "He got to be high." And then he finally admitted he had, had an edible. Because I had to admit he was a lot more mellower than he was early. Because early, it sounded like he was on something that was speeding him up. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a manic phase. Uh, I don't know if it was a mental trip or cocaine. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Y'all got to watch from me, and y'all understand why I said cocaine like that. <laughs> Allegedly. <sighs> <sighs> okay, but seriously, okay, if he didn't have to take the jab to go to the UK, okay, y'all remember when Tariq the she like went to Dubai or something? Don't you gotta take it to go over there? Cause I thought the Middle Eastern countries don't play about that. Unless I'm wrong. He loves Memphis, girl. He <laughs> better you better be careful because look, look, the the a uh, pimp a uh, preacher pimp. Uh, pushed, grabbed that lady from the back of her braids and pushed up out of that church. Uh, Umar got uh the the fruit of his. He got uh he got somebody the NOI somebody being his security. You have a whole bunch of men. <laughs> have you up by your arm taking you back, taking you out? <laughs> Oh, you found it? Okay, okay, okay. A majestic pharaoh. Can we, can we, can we leave that to, um, and living life to full? Can we leave to leave the diseases to another time? Okay. Yeah, living life to the fullest, but I also know people who've had um. Who got it? The health issues from having it, not from the shot, and they're still having some issues. So, the shot is supposed to help you not die from it. Not say you're not gonna get it, but anyway. Oh yeah, it. it well, Magenta Farrell, Okay, let's not say it's like that because there's no cure for the H. Okay, I, I had to do some more research, Majestic Pharaoh. <laughs> Y'all got to watch Mel Joe. You know what I said? I said hey, D. Jones. Oh, because uh, I got up for a restroom break and young Pharaoh was on. And he was talking to his little new girlfriend. I guess she's just such a new girlfriend. But she, cause he been he done three videos and put her name in the title. Her name is Violet. But when I look at her, I think Michael Jackson, sucker, nineteen eighty-seven, eighty-eight. At first, I was thinking the way you make me feel video. But now I look at her for what she wanted in the last video he had. She looked like she got a daddy Diana video. Daddy Diana, no. <laughs> Daddy Diana. And I know, let me be daddy, die, and I know, dirty, die, and I know, let me be. <laughs>
Oh, no, yeah. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, so I went to go grab uh the KKC uh interview, not interview, KKC uh C's Lamar Johnson and the UK Babel. Okay, start at the one minute and what? One minute and 15 second mark. Okay, that's when he starts playing the uh, Omar Johnson. He's wearing a little blue outfit, which I think I've seen him in that little blue outfit. Okay, no, I understand living like the food, but thank you so much. Just that they, you know, yeah. Okay. Um, and Majestic Pharaoh, you think you can um delete your stuff about the uh The Mpox. <sighs> that would be great. <sighs> oh, it's up to twenty thousand damage. <sighs> He said his new girl got a square face. <laughs> That's what she really do look like. I told y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, D. Joe's. Take the hair away. Looks like dude. Don't say that, Majestic, because he'll get mad. Because he like he said he likes natural women. Because he only wants natural women. Because you know, uh, he when he says something about gay men or gay some be wearing that fake stuff. You can't um uh, get tricked or whatever. And I'm just like, dude, why are you even bringing that up? Oh, he didn't sell out all his, so he's losing popularity. Okay. Thanks, Majestic Farrell. But thank you, and Living Life to the Fullest, telling me information, you know. Because, you know, I'll definitely go read about it, look more into it, but I know how 
YouTube acts about, you know, those two diseases, especially the C, and then, you know, also the election of 2020. Do y'all, speaking of the election of 2020, y'all see what uh, Lance Summer's wife is still saying that it was stolen? I was like, ma'am. Um, and she was interviewed. I guess eventually they're going to have the uh, the hearing where they show you the results. But she actually got interviewed by the January 6th committee and told them people that, yeah, I still believe it was stolen. I'm sorry. Right now, this is what I need for to have. I need Clarence Thomas to resign and be like, I'm going to go support my wife and go away. And then Joe Biden can nominate somebody else in office. That's what I need. Okay. I'm going to get what I was doing. Uh, as a guard, they had a dead boat put on their truck. Forget my phone. This would have been ripped. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, I passed a car that had a devil. What do you mean like the tire? Oh. Like on the tire or on, on the lock on the uh car? Wait, D. Jones? What are you talking about? By Michael Jackson? Yes, he's deceased. Like, it's a big, like a big, okay, was it big? Ah, man, I wish you had your camera. <laughs> Carter. Wait, Carter died? When? He was just in a parade the other day, him and uh, Rosalind. They were at the peanut uh, parade. I'm sorry. He's one of my favorite former presidents. And the man survived cancer too. I thought the cancer was going to take him. For real, I really did. And they were like, oh, he remission. I was like, oh, okay. Lord ain't through with him yet. <laughs> you want him to be able a little longer? Yeah, I saw him like uh last week. It was a photo or something. And um, because I'm on this app and they show me like they send me like different stuff. And I saw him and Rosalind. They were in a car. They had uh they had uh no he had the can he had cancer he's like in remission <laughs> yeah But yeah, y'all, y'all got to go see. I think I put it back up there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Omar Johnson in the UK started the one minute, one hour, fifteen minute mark, or it might have been the thirteen minute mark. And then if you go to, uh, let's see, let me go back up. I need to make sure I put this in the uh, description. Check out Ramil Mott. He did a, a, a commentary about. One of um, it might have been two two of uh, remember if you still here, correct me, please. Uh, two of uh, his videos, two of uh, Young Pharaoh's videos. Uh, but if you go to uh, the general, uh, Young Pharaoh the. His very last one he did over an hour ago, over an hour and a half ago. Uh, it is when he said, I ain't 
I'm being on break from TV and I I miss Grant. I saw that on the look at the news app I have. I think the man, well, one, his age, and he's stressed. He's trying to help the economy. You gotta deal with the JRA six committees, Putin over there, uh trying to make World War Three happen and shit. I mean I feel like what um was it was it uh uh Shula King said he needs to work from nine to one o'clock, nine a.m. to one o'clock, and then just let him go home. He's tired. Nah, she's not related to him, but I, it sure the hell make me wonder though. <laughs> <laughs> The way you make me feel <laughs> You really turn me on You knock me off of my feet Y'all see YP on IG What are you doing IG this time? My lonely days are gone <laughs> But I'm sorry When I saw her in this black top And that white out that white top I said this look like the way you make me feel good y'all <laughs> This is like I'm sorry this is like Uh <laughs> This look like Dirty Diana Dirty Diana Me being silly. <laughs> me being silly. <laughs> See, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. <laughs> it wasn't just me. <sighs> well, you walk out the me, you suck it out of the night, and I run to the front, baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the door, cause I fuck out the key, and you're not coming back, because you sleep with me, da da da, and no more. Hey, but, okay, that's fair, let's not, you know, put that on her, cause according to, according to young Pharaoh, he, he, he deals with natural women, and only natural women, so this can't be. It can't be. He told she got squashed on the stop. <laughs> Yes, I I do too. Rest in peace, long live MJ. I gotta show this video with y'all. Someone had made on uh, <laughs> it was on TikTok, and they said this is uh what uh what did they say? This is what uh Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, and Aaliyah look like uh when they see <laughs> that when they see Princess Diana, see Queen Elizabeth in heaven. <laughs> And it was Princess Diana was beating the hell out of Queen Elizabeth. And they had, they had other characters. They were looking like behind the sofa with their eyes just looking. I got I to post it so y'all can see it. Majestic Fair, did you say did it speak? Stop. See? Stop. Matter of fact, you know what, Majestic Fair? You are so smart. You are so smart. I got another device. Let me let y'all listen. Excuse me. He said, I she said I ain't going to hell this morning. Okay. Am I am I signing? Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all on the part that that I heard. Okay, 
I heard. Okay, hold on. Where's my history now? I know I saw. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Lord, wait, did he take it off? No, he sent it to me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He done proud of the video. Oh y'all. This is a motherfucker. I'm sorry. Yeah, he done proud of the video. All right, who snitched on me? Who snitched on me? Who snitched on me? <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> he ain't got it up no more. I'm sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> he, he ain't got it up. He privated it. He privated it, y'all. Ramil, you still here? You still here, Ramil? Okay, so he he I okay, got a one that was from an hour and a half ago. He done private it, y'all. I I did I did I wasn't doing good. I wasn't do I didn't do yeah, I guess I guess <laughs> I'm trying to find something that she says. But y'all can hear her voice because she was saying all kind of yeses and yes and stuff he said. Just say this. <sighs> Next topic. Yeah. Can we cover the LGBTQ badge? Yeah, and yeah, and somebody just said the LGBTQ people think they love the law. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, yo. Can y'all hear? We were calling that shit earlier. I was calling shit LAPDGTQ. <laughs> they think they the motherfucking LAPD GPQ. But go ahead. If you got, you know, anything you want to add, add my video. Go ahead. Um, yeah, that's how I feel. Like, they just feel like they can go around and kind of just get away with a lot of things because of that. And I feel like it's not fair. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of shitty if you think about it. It really is. Like, if you're going to be gay, that's fine. But, like, when it comes to you get to bully people, now you're becoming a bully. But you're LGBTQ, you were given an LGBTQ badge to protect you from people bullying you, and you're going around using it to bully other people. That's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. I've been had to have that. I've been had to call the LAPD to step in. LAPD is fine, this baby. Like, are the police scared of? I wonder if the police is scared of LGBTQ. I think, I think everybody's scared of sauce. <laughs> you know what I wouldn't want to say. See, he always going there. I've even had to back this out on fuck. Back your ass up, fuck. What? Oh my goodness. But goddamn long story short. Yeah. And, and I mean I've done lectures on this shit. So it's really just like me regardless. I don't like to repeat myself, but I'm gonna say this one more time. <laughs> Did he say I don't like to repeat myself? He's always repeating himself. But look, he's anti-LGBTQ. And so she's just like co-signing what he's saying. I really wanted y'all to hear the last video, but he he privated. It. I'm sorry. I guess I I guess I when I made this live, maybe he saw it. It was like I'm making fun of his girl, so he didn't like it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really don't know what the fuck to say no more. But we finna step out. You feel me? You feel me? This is the video from 12 hours ago. She had a different shirt on. I'm going right to China. See, he go. And y'all better stop playing with me. And this one, she's shaking her head. Yes. It could be China chip. It could be China chip. Okay. Let me stop playing. But anyway, he's smoking too. 
Yep. No comments. I want to answer. Um, I appreciate everybody. You feel me? We all holding it down. That's for real. People do. We hold it down. So, you know, do a lot of shaking her head. Say? The show must go on. That's what they say in Showtime. So I'm about to be the biggest damn thing on HBO or something. I'm about to get on Ace. I'm about to get on something. Ain't that right. I'm about to get on shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm going on every. I get it on every. Y'all hear this? I, I know the people that know the people. You and don't she's know just the shaking, her head, yeah. shaking her head again. Shaking her head again. Okay, I can't hear no more. But I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm gonna put his video in the chat so that y'all. You know, because I am using his stuff. Uh, I'm going to put it in the chat so you can go over there and watch it yourself. Check out AT in the general. Fair you, fair you. There you go. I'm going to put it in the chat. This one he hasn't uh, privated. But the one, the one I got the photo from, he has. Maybe he'll unprivate it after he do some edits. I don't know. Yes, girl. There are. He, let me tell y'all something about the money. He's not like with Umar. They're not getting the money like they was back in the day. But there's he still got supporters. He still got people in the chat. Yeah, he still got some. So this one he hasn't um he hasn't please like, share, and subscribe to uh respect the Pharaoh. I'm not to respect the Pharaoh, the uh I'm sorry, my eyes saving me. Uh please like subscribe to young Pharaoh. Okay. Uh to Ramil Mott. Okay, to KKC, to Osan Yemi too. Okay, uh, Majestic Fair, do you have your own channel? Oh, to uh, check out Mikey XF23, check out the respective angle mobile. But you have to understand living life to the fullest. For some people, this is entertainment, they are being entertained. There are people who give Umar Johnson money because. He's funny. And that, and they do have supporters. They do have people who do still believe after all this time that you know they they still support them. Majestic. <laughs> Good morning, respect to Angle Mobile Show. I'm not usually majestic fair. Usually my my dar, my radar is pretty good. I I'm not getting that from her. I'm not getting that from her. So I don't want to put that on anybody that's not true. You said her hands? Look at her hands. Oh. Yeah. Because there are still people, when I looked at his last video, I was in the chat, there were still people there who were like, uh, that they were very supportive of him. And then they were like, Oh, you with someone better now than the last two you were with, or and it was like really. And there are the people that was like trolling him, you know. Oh, did you know this dude said that he knows the Constitution, and he know he because he was because she was asking like, oh, you think I could be a leader of the of the black community and. I know the laws. I can teach people about the laws. And I know the Constitution. I read the Constitution. I know everything in there. And then I put in the chat, what is the Third Amendment thing? <laughs> What's the Third Amendment thing? <laughs> and he didn't say, I thought he was going to put on a screen. 
<laughs> but he did. He put it. He put Keisha. He put Keisha's up there. Shout out to Keisha. You a real one? Did you catch up? Did she I'm pissing that. So, but uh, yeah, this is uh Young Pharaoh's video. Uh, I believe his cash app is. Dollar sign General Atten. Uh, if you want to uh, send him some money, you can. If you want to. All right. Uh, Chicago KKC. All right. So I think she is because he even put her name on three videos. Cause it'll say it says Young Pharaoh and Violet. The last video, the one he just private, it says Young Pharaoh and Violet. And then uh, the one that I just put in there, it doesn't have doesn't have her name on it, but she's in the video. And the one that uh, Ramil did, where he did a, a commentary on her name, I want to say her name isn't her, no, her name is not in there, but she's in the video. So she's been in the last three videos, three four videos he has. And then someone in the last video say, is she spending the night? I said, dude, she been there all day. Tomorrow, then they asked, well, she go, is she going to is she gonna sleep in the same bed that he had with with uh Golden Beauty? I said, dude, who knows? Like, I want to say, dude, stop asking me questions. You know the answer, too. She, she really is. Either she's brave or foolish. Or both. Like, dude, he, he shot up his baby mama's house. Oh, was some fictional dude named Muhammad Tamal. She took my son to Sonic. No, took my kid to Sonic. Just talk with some dude named Muhammad. We still don't know who the fuck he talking about. I'm like, you just imagine the folks? Have you been to Sonic? Sonic got good, good selections. Like, what two or three year old don't want to go to Sonic with their mama to get some ice cream? Okay, or some popcorn chicken, or just oh my goodness, he's crazy. So, but yeah, I just thought. <laughs> Y'all think this video made him proud of that last video? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But you do have a channel? Okay, y'all uh, like, share, subscribe to the Majestic Pharaoh. Let me go get the link. All right. Y'all like, share, subscribe to the Majestic Pharaoh channel. Okay. <sighs> Just... But yeah, yeah, I wish I wish he hadn't private that video because he that last the, the, the part that I saw, I was in there the last 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. It was like every every time he asked her questions, she said yes. Every time he like, do you think this? Do you think that? Yes. Mm hmm. Shook in the head. Then, of course, you don't, if you set your mind to, of course, you could do it. I'm like, ma'am, do you know what he, the charges he got? Did he tell you it was their fault? Ma'am, what are y'all smoking over there? Stop smoking it. 
Stop smoking it. It's 17 of y'all in the chat. Um, I need to have 17 likes. So, <sighs> Ramil, if you, if you, oh, that's great. Oh, so you, me too. If you, um, uh, if, if you try to find a video, <laughs> he private it. Maybe someone else will, you know, do a commentary to it. If they got, I know sometimes, uh, what's that guy name? I can't think of his name. So he does, uh, it's another guy that does, uh, Commentary about uh about young Pharaoh. Sometimes he'll catch uh young Pharaoh's uh video. Living life to the fullest. Please set your reminder for us across the ocean. Oh, you going live too? Living life to the fullest. Cause I know when Osa and Yumi, I see her uh, schedule lives. I do uh, put my notifications on. I will definitely do that. Oh, oh, you don't have a. Oh, you see it when I go live? Because usually when I go live, like usually when I sit alive, I'm going live like within usually like 30 minutes and I'll, and I'll uh, put the time and I'll set them out. But this time I just happened to go early. This time was y'all are, you know, y'all are up and y'all can see it. But do you want me to come on at this time another time? Uh, yes. I feel the same way about that. Uh, what's that lady name? The little white, the little white girl, Gabby Petito. I think, I think the race car and the sexism car got that girl killed. And I think her parents deserve money from that little city over there was it Arizona because y'all just y'all gonna y'all just thought oh he's a what good looking white little white boy and y'all just let him go on off uh y'all just let him go on off what are you talking about Oh, okay. Oh, so Yimmy, did I make you a mod? You can put your if you if I did, I think I did. You can put the link to your channel inside the chat so everyone can uh subscribe. You two respective angle mobile, put your uh link in the chat. Oh, this time is good. Okay. I might be able to do this on the weekends, like Friday and Saturday night. Is this the other nights? I'm uh I'm uh either sleep or getting ready to get up to go to work, so it's hard. Yeah, I need to. Do, I need to get back. I, I, because I'm actually in, you know, like a two sectors. Um, I need to do. I need to get back to uh updating y'all on the black consciousness stuff. Oh, I didn't make you one. Hold on. Let me hold on.
Okay, yeah. Um, also, you said, I ain't in no center. Well, you're kind of in one, but not quite. Um, I think I'm in the ones that are much more well defined, like Umar Johnson sector, people who do his content or related. Uh, I do do the other content besides Omar Johnson, but a lot of times I'm hanging out with those people in the sector or I do church related stuff. And then I do trending topics too. I do a lot of videos also about other fraudsters in the black community. I think that's what most of us, well, the most of y'all I've interacted with, like we're dealing with, I guess we would, I guess if we had a sector we'd be a part of, it would be like the black sector. You know, but then there's also like a beef sector. And that's a whole nother, ooh, yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother beast. Some people even feel like there's a Tasha K sector. Yeah, thinking outside the box. That's good. So check out Osun Yimmy, the dark side of Osun Yimmy. Osun Yimmy too. Uh, also, Yumi has really good videos about cults. Because cults are not just in the United States. They are everywhere. 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 Ooh. Ooh excuse me, y'all. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. Uh, I may go back on later, maybe. Uh, so, but definitely check out um, Also Yimmy 2, The Dark Side Also Yimmy, Majestic Pharaoh, Respective Angle, uh, Ramil Mott, G uh, Young Pharaoh, General Atten. Check out uh, Mikey XF23. He was here earlier. And uh, if you'd like to support the Liberty City Crown Super Channel, become a member like Deep Jones, or you can send me a cash out, super chat. If you can't do anything yet, what you can do to help me, like, share, and subscribe, because then YouTube will recommend these videos more to more people. So, but thank y'all so much for being up here with me. Uh, those of you who are here uh, in the United States this early and good morning. And I'm so glad that the UK uh, followers, I was up, y'all could come over in the chat. I appreciate that. Okay. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Bye.